Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to create your code repository in Bitbucket and import it in Eclipse. For this video, I am using the latest version of Eclipse, Neon, which runs on top of Java 8. For any of the Git related activities, you need to install Git plugin. For that, go to Help, Eclipse Marketplace, search for eGit. This is a plugin which we are looking for. Install the plugin. After the installation is done, you will be able to find Git Perspective under Windows, Perspective, Open Perspective, Others, Git. This is how your Git Perspective looks like. So now, when the setting is done, let's go to Bitbucket and create our repository. After your repository is created, you will find the URL is appended with repository name. Copy the URL. Go back to Eclipse, choose clone git repository, paste the URL here and add dot git at the end of the URL. Provide your username and password. After the repository is cloned, we need to create the project in our local space. For that, right click on this, import project, choose import as general project, click next. Go to Java perspective again, you will find your project is created. When you try to expand this, you will not find any of the files. That's because our repository was empty. Now let's create some files in this so that I'll convert this project to dynamic web project. Now when you expand this, you'll find many of the folders and files has been created. Now let's create some files from our own and commit this. Let's create one Java file inside Java resources. So now when the changes are done, to push the changes, right click on this, go to team, click on commit. Here you will find the list of files which has been created. You can choose the files you wanted to push to repository. So we have created two files which we will add to index and give a commit a name. Then commit and push.
it will ask for the username and password multiple times. And there you are done. Now let's go to Bitbucket and see if our files has been created or not. Click on source. You will be able to find the folder has been created. Inside which we have created index.html. And this is the Java file which we have created. I hope this video will help you creating your repository in Bitbucket. Thanks for watching.